Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is information architecture, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll discuss some of the fundamentals of information architecture, including metadata, access permission schemas, workflow, and constructs for content organization. One of the most critical components of information architecture is metadata, which is data about data. Labels or tags stored either within or externally from content that describes that content for the purpose of identifying and organizing it. The idea behind it is to facilitate search and retrieval by providing relevant hooks to latch onto when looking for particular pieces of information, and no useful information management system can exist without it. Another critical component is, or are, access permission schema, which primarily are anti-trespassing devices designed to keep out every potential user of the system except for those allowed to come in. Most often, Access permission these days involves one or more of password protection, directory services, and access control lists. Workflow is yet another fundamental building block, as it automates the movement of information through an organization. More often than not, it allows tasks to be carried out in parallel and manages multiple concurrent processes, saving time and increasing productivity. Exceptions and conditions are accommodated by applying user-defined rules. Workflow also generally includes a graphical process designer, such as this one from NewGen Omniflow, with which users can chart and refine the way they want their processes to flow, to whom, and according to what parameters. For maximum effectiveness, each of the preceding should be constructed with a certain logical organization in mind, be it alphabetical, hierarchical, chronological, geographical, or some combination thereof. Each in its own way, these impose an essential underlying organization to the content and tasks in question, and provide a means for reflecting any issues that are especially important to a particular group. This module has discussed the fundamentals of information architecture, including metadata, access permission schemas, workflow, and constructs for content organization. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on content organization and classification structures. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.